Welcome to part 14 of Grim Blaze The Walking Dead. God, this is so fucked! Why the hell did you shoot that guy, man? What the hell was that? I didn't mean to do it. It just happened, okay? Where the fuck were you with a warning? Me? You're putting that on me now? I didn't see the guy either. I was too worried those dudes were gonna pull guns on us. Or shit! Dude, how'd they catch up to us? Who gives a shit? Just... Hurry up, Eddie! Here, man. That's a car. Shoot. Get him, man! Jesus, man. Are you sure? Those guys wouldn't just give up. I don't see anything. Here, here, I'll turn off. Which, kind of what you expect people to do, so you're gonna find a turn off. I feel that look on me, man. I'm not being an asshole, I'm being smart. No lights, no, uh, you know, they can't see us. Christ, I can taste blood in my mouth. I don't think it's mine. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense, Wyatt. God, I can't believe we're in this shit. Don't barf just yet, okay? Please, this road is really straight. We'll be fine. At least slow down. What? Fuck no. Did you see that one guy's eyes, man? He's fucking gorked. I don't want that guy in my life, Wyatt. Dude, you are covered in that guy's blood. I know, Wyatt. My shirt is soaked. It's like, I just... Why didn't they say anything? Did you mean to pull the trigger? I don't know. I was so keyed up, I just... God, I love all these snapshots of Wyatt, people's lives. And all I know is those guys had me all... jacked up, like I was on speed or something. I was just on edge, you know? Then I was like watching that guy's brains come out of the back of his head. Lovely. Sorry, man, I... Well, thanks for getting us out anyway. Let there be light, huh? Dude, shut up. See? It's fine. Road straight as my dick. Oh, so it's short as well, is it? I think we're in the clear. Don't talk about your dick. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's Tom Cruise out of here. Why is it that you never had a girlfriend again? Oh, right. Forgot there was more than one reason. See if there's still any uh... sticky in the glove box. see anything dude it's in there look harder I don't see it what I do see is that ammo that you lost last week oh my god really but is there any weed you know one time I was going out with this girl right Abigail you remember her and she told me that she was five I think I don't care about this story trip. they walked around oh. for a while saw the chick with two heads Stop saw talking a dude with lobster now. Hands, some kind of monkey human with a dick for her face. I don't know. She also said there was a little girl in there the size of an apple, but I called bullshit on that one. The point is, she saw there was this guy standing in there, buck naked, and singing this weird... Are you even listening to me? Nope. The guy peed on her dad. Shit! Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Did you get a look? I think that was a guy. Why? It's probably a walker. Come on, man. Just say something. Driving. Was that a dude or not? What the... The fucking fog. This night is so fucked, man. It didn't look human. Alive. Whatever. Really? Seriously? I mean, seriously? Look me in the eyes and say that. You heard me, Eddie. Ah! 
So let's just let's keep see going. If there's anything around the car. You know, anything that'll like tell us one way or the other. That way we can just book. Why? I'm not leaving if we hit a human being, man. I'm just not. What are you gonna do? Kiss a life? Man, don't roll it down broken. I can't see through the cracks. Look, it's fine, see? Dude, what's that on the broken side mirror? It's part of a shirt, I think. Yeah, but plenty of dead guys have shirts on. Keep looking. So the living guys. Think that blood on the windshield is fresh or rotten? Does that blood look fresh to you? Yeah, but it's kind of dark. Yeah. Damn. What's that way out in the road? Is that the mirror from the car? Can't tell from here. Man, I'm really not seeing anything. Seriously, you think some piece of that guy made it into the glove box? Man, I don't know. Look. Wyatt. It was a guy. Are you sure? Yes. How sure? Pretty fucking sure. Don't fuck with Tiny Carlos, sure. Jesus. So what do we do? What do you mean, what do we do? We go out there. Oi! Go out there and what? Find the guy and help him. Who the hell are you tonight? If it's a guy. It's a guy. I saw him. Come on, man. This is stupid. We go out there, we check it out, we get moving. <sighs> Fine. I'll go. Give me the gun. Dude, I'm the one who got us into this. I'm the one who hit him. Should be me going. Then why did you ask which one of us should go? Oh, sorry. Next time I get into this exact crazy fucking situation, I'll figure out how I feel before I talk. Okay. A Rochambeau, you well, poet? Shit, okay. Here, we'll rock, paper, scissors for it. Are you fucking serious? No. Come on. Sitting here is making me nervous. Come on, I'm right shampoo you for it. Man, I can't believe I'm doing this shit. I kick you in the ass as hard as I can, and then you kick me in the ass as hard as you can. Right, two you out can. of three, right? Sure. One, two, three, go. Okay, 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 okay
Oh, I think I was meant to. Okay. Shell Russell, Shell Russell. Uh, that one. Okay, let's have a look at that. Oh, it's the same gas station. Two hundred and thirty-six days in. Hey, Shell. Sure. Your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? And worst comes to worst, you can always use the guitar to smash some zombie heads in. She's already changing. She dismisses things she cares about so easily. I guess you kind of have to when you've already lost so much, but I still worry. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. Really? I think we can do something like this every week. As long as it doesn't distract from keeping this place safe, that's always the priority. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Yay. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Uh, no, I don't think so. You just make sure those flashlights are all working. We don't want anyone getting stuck in the dark. Yeah, that would suck. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. Wonder what we're feeding them. How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. Oh. This is that lot. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you gonna find out? Yeah, in a sec. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. So these are obviously the people that were chasing down... that that D stole from. Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. Hey, Becca, think we should start charging for the inspections we make? Oh, yeah. Then we can spend all our money at nowhere. Jeez, someone's moody. We should do an inspection on these. Make sure they all work. Glad we thought to bottle our water before it ran out. Smells good. Mm. 
This hasn't worked in a long time. God, what I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee in the morning. Mmm, yeah, my priorities and all that. Ooh, starting to thin out in here. Thank God we have a garden now. I don't miss going on raids for this stuff. Oh, you scared me! He's hungry. I guess he knows it's feeding time. I feel bad for it. Yeah, well, at least we found a way for him to be useful. You know, really? Uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. This is far from an easy life, Roman. You know what I mean. She needs to know the sacrifices we have to make to survive in this world. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. What'd you get the main? I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. Okay, let's see what that one's got. Probably a raccoon or something. Oh, God. Oh, God. <sighs> oh, a dog. Hmm. Lovely. God, just listen to that. Just, that guy must have had so much fun making the noises for that. I mean, wow. Again. Whoa! What's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. I'm sorry. It's... It's just the watchdogs. I guess they found a, a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know? It was... It was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but... After a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right. But then, you know, there it is. You see it, and you want to protect it, and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Back really? Up. Something's going on outside. What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. Oh, what's going on outside? Come here, everyone. Shit. Come on, we gotta find Roman. Let's mop them. It's so care be there. Jesus. Largum. My God, Largum. what did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No, they didn't get that close. What did he take? Food, medicine, whatever he could get his hands on. Usual stuff. I couldn't get any other information out of him. I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck it's in. The second break in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. 
Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some and send him on his what way. What if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? Boyd's right. We should just let him go. Why? Look at the poor bastard. We've all done the same thing trying to survive. Just kick him out. We don't have Scare to be him enough, he won't come back. Him, but we can give him some food and let him take his own it's chances. It's not about his chances, it's about ours. What's to stop him from coming back and armed next time? We could always use more hands keeping the place secure. Boyd, we don't need any more people here. And look at him. How is he, he gonna can't help? even speak English. This group works because we know how to communicate. Are you judging him based on race? Of course not. But come on. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon yeah! and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. That's from uh, Vernon earlier. was out for the boat the whole time. And the second they left that boat unattended, we just stole it. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. You're right. It's got to be one or the other. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? We have to set him free. We can't! He's not even armed! We can't just kill him! This isn't in self-defense! Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us? That isn't the same thing. But last time... Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. I'm not ready to let that go. What is that, Eastern European? Middle Eastern? Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Oh, Give him some food, when, three or four cans, just as a gesture of good faith. And get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying, but you better understand this. You came this close to death today. And if you ever, ever, Come near this place again. And you should tell anybody where we him. are. You wish you had died today. At least I'm like to the blindfold off when you're telling him he came this close. He doesn't know how close because he can't see you. Honestly. Oh, we get multiple bits for Shell. Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Go fish. I miss playing guitar for everyone. It was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's well, impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. Then he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Oh, God, do you know how dangerous that is? It's not dangerous. 
There's nothing out there but slow-ass walkers. What are you talking about? We've had two break-ins already. Anyone could be out there. What if someone sees you and, and follows you back here? They won't. Damn it, Becca. Shell, I need to talk to you. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Is this about Becca? Just come see me. What was that Ooh, all about? Oh, you're in trouble. Maybe he found out about the boards? Shit. You think so? If he did, I won't say anything. But you better stay away from there for a while. Okay. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. Okay, where is he? Over there? An unfinished painting. Guessing Boyd was working on that. Okay. Oh, there's a diner next to a market. We struck gold. Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Please, what is it? They caught Stephanie stealing. And then trying to escape. Oh my god. What are they gonna do? I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Is this really necessary? Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? Caught her trying to escape. Maybe she wasn't. Maybe she just wanted to get outside these walls for a while. Ever since the incident, you've made this place feel... I don't like know. a prison? Oppressive. We've made it safe. She was definitely trying to escape. She had most of our ammo and medicine with her. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Yeah. You want me to take care of it. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. Well, we did, and it was wrong, and now Boyd is dead. One less mouth We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now, and I need to know that you're with us 100%. Yeah, sure. But she's, she's one, one of us. us. Th this is different. No, she's not. Not anymore. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. <clears throat> Maybe I should just say, hey, my girlfriend got caught stealing. Shell? What's wrong? Yes, she's a girlfriend. Am I in trouble? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of supplies and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? Because this place isn't safe anymore. After those guys attacked us, even after we let their friend go, this place just hasn't been the same. Of course not. Roman's trying to make it better. Better? 
No one is happy anymore. We live like prisoners. But it's safe here. I mean, yeah, I want to get away every now and then, but I would never leave. That's crazy. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Uh, let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there, in the drawer. You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. Anywhere? As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. Uh, why can't you just leave? You know? I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. Jeez, kid. Fine. Go ahead. Come on, Big No! Man. Roman said he wants you to do it. I'll do it when it's my turn. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. Shell, it's time. What are you doing? Shell? Shell, what the hell? Sit down, get safe. Shell, hey! Shell, be safe, I'll be honest. What the fuck? God damn it! Don't have to kill her. Okay. I guess it's just Russell. Come on, man. Let's go. Hey, you getting up? Good. Okay. So we're just walking here. I should probably hurry. Shit, shit, shit. Oh. oh, it's Carly. Gross, man. I see you cuddling with your girlfriend down there. Shit, bro. I don't want no trouble. Please. You just want to be left alone with your friend down there? No, just leave me alone. Look, I don't care what you do to whatever corpse you find. I wasn't. What's your name? Russell. So you didn't steal that bag. I don't care yeah, who yeah, you steal not, from. Got my name on. Did. Maybe you're in a gang that likes to rob people. I don't know. Are you in a crew? You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? It's mine. I didn't steal it. All right, good. I don't like thieves. Just get in the car. You're gonna get eaten out here otherwise, and I'm bored. Come on, scoot. Ain't gonna wait forever. Okay, yeah, 
I'd like a ride. That'd be good. See, that's the same one as the Hell one that's yeah, chasing those two in, guys. Let's tear it up. I'm trying to get to my grand's house. Fuck, she like to party? Just get in. We'll get there. Or somewhere. Eventually. Name's Nate, by the way. Thanks for asking. You thirsty? Uh... Here you go. Yo, and have a drink. <laughs> good shit, ain't it? Hell of a kick, but it takes well, the edge off. Must be good if everyone in the game finds it. it. Actually, I think that's it for me. I'm good. All right, fine. You want to tell me about where you come from, at least? Must have been with a crew. Any Must tailback not. where you come from? Maybe drop you off, do a double back. Really? Sure, yeah. I mean, I'll tell you about who I was with. Don't leave out any juicy deets, all right? Huh. Uh, okay. There were seven of us. I didn't have any family there or nothing. They are all at my grand's down in Statesboro. There was a dad who had a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. Then a teacher and his wife. Leader was this guy, Steve. Go back to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? He said seven was the magic number, so we didn't have no, nobody to believe. Three is the magic we number. We found survivors. The same every time. He, he. Let it out, Paco. Just, we gonna kill these folks and take this stuff or what? Then bang, they'd be dead. Anyway, I, I couldn't handle that. After weeks of it, I packed my shit up and figured I could make for Grands alone and try to find my family. I slipped out of there. I couldn't live like that. So nobody got down with the daughter then? No, they didn't. What would you give her? Shame. Strong six. Just tell me something about her. How was the rat? Give me a little something. Just a taste. Russ, I'm doing you a service here. I gotta get my beak wet. I'll put it right in here. Sure, whatever. Sure, whatever? Come on. All right, maybe someone who wasn't so near and dear to your heart then. The fuck? Come on. Scale of one to ten. What do you think? Ah, slamming before she was done, right? What do you think? Here, get a look. Really? Fuck! Ah, ah. Like a nine, right? Get off me! Maybe you got high standards. Oh, hell! If you say five, I'm gonna flip. Ah. Tell me, Russ. Ah. Ah. Jesus, Russ, calm down. Ah. Damn it. <laughs> Would you load that? Bullets in the glove there. Oh, that's uh, what you call trusting. Let's look for some supplies in here. See if we can fill up while we're at it. Don't be mad. Fine, be mad. Just stop being a pussy. So, shelling that here, or are they not here yet? Alright. Oh shit! Go! Get out! <sighs> Russ! Get the fuck down, man! You don't want to be there! Get to the truck! I'll cover you! Okay, get ready! Don't stop running! And keep your head down! Keep running, running, running! Good hustle. What happened to I'll cover you? Look how good you did. 
All right. What are we gonna do? First, we're gonna figure out exactly where this asshole is. Just get a quick glance. Stay down! Yep, yeah, saw it. See? Easy. Now we know where he is, we can fucking get him. All right. Yeah. That's the spirit. Let's push this truck for cover. Okay. It's in neutral. Just keep your head down. Shit! Just keep pushing! Come on, the car the tires. Shit! Push! Uh, uh, End of the road. What now? We're gonna get around the side of the building. We gotta go from cover to cover. Seriously, this time. I'm not fucking around. You gonna cover me? If we get to that car, we'll be out of the line of fire. Here. You can cover me first. I'm not fucking around. You cover me, then I'll cover you. Or if you wanna go first, that's fine too. I'll go first. That a boy, Russ. All ass. Go ahead, go. There we go. Right. I'm good. Heads up. Nice. As soon as you start shooting, I'm coming. Yeah, come on. Now what? We get over there and we should be good. Go! So this must be the first raid that they were on about. Thanks. We're not done yet. Let's see if we can get in around back. Sneak up on this asshole. Follow me. Man, what are we doing? Well, we gotta get in there. Fucker shot at us. Russell, relax, man. When this is over, we're gonna take what we can, head on down to your grams, and have a big old home-cooked meal, all right? Come on. So who's out there? Um. I think I saw a guy. No shit. Grab him. I'll cover you. Do I sneak up? Just jump out and grab him. You're gone. You can't hear any of that? I mean, it's dead silent. Press and hold the left mouse button then. Walt! Ow! Oh. Get the fuck out of here, you monsters! Whoa, Gramps! I told you not to come back here! Think you could just leave your mask at home? And what? now you're with this fucking spook! First off, watch the fucking racism. This is my boy. Secondly, I don't fucking know you. We were just passing by like anyone else. Bullshit! You came back to finish us off and take all our food! You've lost your goddamn marbles. She's dying, and now she can see your face. Mask? What's he talking about? Fuck if I know. He's crazy. Have you been here before? 
Russell, don't you start. You tried to kill us for no goddamn reason. If anything, we should take you out. So, is this Please just get the fuck out of here. Please leave us alone. What do you say, Russ? Should we just kill these folks and take all their stuff? Are you serious? Maybe. Why not? That's fucked up! There are real fucking monsters out there! No shit. And you're just gonna joke about the shit I see. Fuck you, Nate. I saved your ass. You didn't do shit. Easy, Russ. I'm not hurting no one. And don't you hurt these people either. Come on. Can we still be friends? No. Oh, really? So he killed them anyway. Four hundred days in, we've reached the title. We were right. There are survivors out here. Still alive? Well, they're going to be happy to get rescued. So how many are we talking about? Around five, I think. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm going to try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best judgment. We're building a good community here. We want to keep it that way. Of course. <laughs> oh, was that Stephanie? So I wonder what happened at the truck stop. Did you get overrun because of us running away? I found him. Holy shit! Good job. Everything okay? So far, so good. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Be careful. Don't try to force him into anything. Just get as many of them as you can. You got it. Hey! Don't you bitch! Don't fucking move! Who the fuck are you? My name is Tavia. How did you find us? I follow the smoke. I'm a scout for a growing settlement up north. We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. We have food, what is it? clean water, and shelter Alexandria? for everyone. We're offering you a chance to help us Seven out minutes? and start over. God, this sounds too good to be true, but I think it is. Bonnie, get real. Just because she says it's true doesn't mean it is. You should know about that. Hey, what I told Leland... Cool it. I heard rumors about these places. This guy I was traveling with ditched me trying to find one in his own. He thought... You know what? Let's do this. Yeah, where'd he go? Well fed, right? And clean? We could all use a meal and a hot shower. Wait, you find survivors? Do you find a lot? Not as many anymore, but... Well, we gotta go. Eddie might be there. Wyatt... Look, we need people. Plain and yeah, simple. Yeah, go on! Those you who folks arrive, decide survive. if you want to come as a group, or split up, or whatever. But I don't want to be out here in the open after dark. So in a few minutes, I'm gonna be getting back in my car and on my way. Hopefully, at least some of you will follow me. Well, I'm going. Maybe we should go too, sis. If Roman is still looking for us, he wouldn't be able to do anything to us there. There's no way that guy is still looking for you. We've been to that truck stop. There's no one left. Roman's not a problem. It's following her that'll get you killed. Look, I know it's a risk, but what else is there? If you guys are going, then so are we. I don't like this, guys. We should just walk away. I don't trust her. Of course you don't, Russell. You don't trust anyone. What will it take to convince you? I don't know. Russell, come on. I don't understand what the problem is. Are you really considering staying out here? Well, foraging for food like then. fucking raccoons? I mean, then why did we even leave the photos there? Well, it could be a trap. What if they want to kill us? Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. We've all seen it. Well, 
We turned out all right, didn't we? You clearly outnumber me. If you wanted to overpower me, you could. Hell, I'll even go along as your hostage until you feel safe. No one is gonna hurt you. That's not a bad idea, actually. And I'll do it. Because I know when you guys see this place, you'll change your minds. Swip. Look, Swip I know you guys are wary, and you have every right to be. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. Who did that? And yeah, there are some crazy fuckers out there. Send All I'm here to do is make an offer. You can come with me, or you can stay here. The choice is yours. So, who wants to come with me? Yeah. I'm going. Yeah. I have to. Come on, Russell. Don't be the odd one out. I'm... I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long and seen so much bullshit. I mean, is it really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. But being smart, that's what's keeping us alive. Some of you may have been separated from friends or family. It's a long shot, but there's a chance you could find them there. Have your people been through Statesboro? Yes, I think we have. Okay, but I swear to God, if you try anything, you're gonna regret it. We'll do everything we Nothing can we to help you find your friends and family. But understand that I can't promise anything. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. Well, I guess we have our group. What do you want to do with these? This is a good thing. I know it is. How do we know this will work out? What's the alternative? Staying out here? I think he fits his windows. Okay, 30% of people shot Danny's foot. Wow, that low. Stay or go, did you stay in the car or get out? Okay, 50-50 on that, okay. I guess more people hate bankers. Well, rhymes with. Uh, leave Nate or stay? Most people left Nate. Most people lied to Leyland. And most people left in the RV. Okay, looks like I mostly did the popular choices. And everyone came. Well, thank you for watching my 14 part series for The Walking Dead. Might give it a week or two break, I might not, but I'll be back with season two.